Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. It is February 18th, 2015, and here's a look at our top stories. Tonight, the Obama administration's refusal to use the term Islamic terrorism provokes widespread criticism. Meanwhile, the administration is preparing to equip the so-called moderate Syrian rebels with the ability to order U.S. airstrikes. And a video captures a man punching himself in the face before he accuses the police of brutality. Oh man, that's gotta hurt. All that plus much more up next on the InfoWars Nightly News. It seems that the Obama administration is not content to arm al-Qaeda rebels with simple AK-47s or hand grenades. Now we have the article, Obama to give jihadists the ability to order airstrikes. Members of the Free Syrian Army will be provided with radios to call in airstrikes from American B-1B bombers as well as pickup trucks with mounted machine guns, as the president puts the final touches on plans to train as many as 3,000 rebels in Jordan and Turkey by the end of 2015. Negotiations have concluded, and an agreement text will be signed with the U.S. regarding the training of the Free Syrian Army in the coming period, said a Turkish foreign minister spokesman. The planes will reportedly use similar munitions to those seen in Afghanistan, targeting anything from small vehicles to tanks, with 500 and 2,000 pound guided bombs. And just to be clear, these are the same Syrian rebels we've seen singing praises to people like Osama bin Laden, celebrating the 9-11 attacks. These are the people that these weapons and these, uh, these plane strikes, these abilities are going to go to. Now, are there moderate rebels? Yeah, there are, but I believe the estimates that they are less than 10%. So how do you know when the shipment hits the ground who these weapons are actually going to go to? We saw the video last year, the airdrop grenades in ISIS-held territory. It was like, oof, well, we didn't really mean for those guys to get it. Well, <laughs> why are you arming these guys in the first place? And then on top of that, if you can't even guarantee that they'll actually get the shipments of the weapons. So going from this, let's take another look, another aspect of Obama with these Islamic extremists and why he refuses to call this Islamic terrorism. The Obama administration's refusal to use the term Islamic terrorism has provoked widespread condemnation. But it fits perfectly with the federal government's past approach on the war on terror, which has been to elevate the importance of domestic extremism over the threat of Islamic terror. In planning this week's summit on combating violent extremists, the White House has consistently avoided naming Islamic extremism as its central focus, reports CNN. Despite two deadly attacks carried out in the name of Islam in Paris and Copenhagen in just the last two months alone. Now, let me be very clear when we talk about this, that I always try to preference when we talk about these uh, Islamic extremists. I'm talking about ISIS, Boko Haram, uh, the Mujahideen, groups like that. If you're just a normal uh, Muslim person, you wake up in the morning, you go to work, you go to school, you take your kids to the park, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the people who are burning down Christian villages, cutting off people's heads if they refuse to convert to Islam. These are the people that I'm talking about when we talk about articles like this, we're not talking about Muslims in general. But uh, Obama has refused to call these people um, Islamic extremists, even though that, that's what they're going out there and doing. They're promoting a very radical form of this. And we know that this is what's going on when myself and Joe Biggs went to Dallas for the Stand with the Prophet rally last month. We met many peaceful, uh, cooperative, nice Muslim people out there, but that's one of the first things they told us. They say, hey, we don't support ISIS, we don't support Boko Haram, that's those guys over there doing that type of radical Islam, we don't support that. So even people in the Muslim community understand that's what's going on, but Obama refuses to uh, address this for what it really is. And going from people who should be put in jail to people being put in jail for the most petty of offenses, officers are now trying to fill the private prison system with just petty offenders. St. Clair gave us copies of spreadsheets used by the Bell Fountain Neighbors Police Department. The spreadsheets show that traffic arrests represented up to 15% of the required activities for Bell Fountain neighbors cops, an equivalent of up to eight arrests per month. Did you and other officers feel like your pay was at risk if you didn't write enough tickets? Well, of course. Um, progressive discipline uh, eventually to suspension, demotion, and even termination. And traffic tickets are just one part of the revenue generation system because you understand that they build these big prisons and now they have to have people to put into them. So now your officers, as you saw in the video, are driving around just looking for somebody to ticket and possibly even take the jail. 
which to me it seems very unfair because you may see somebody who's not really doing anything wrong, but you say, oh man, well, I got to hit my quota for the week. So now you go and, and harass somebody. And I think that's a very inappropriate way for law enforcement to act. But speaking of these private prisons, we have an article, Shadow Prisons. And this particularly talks about illegal immigrants. And I want to bring your attention to this section. Most of the roughly 23,000 immigrants held each night at CAR, those are criminal alien requirement prisons, have committed immigration infractions, crimes that a decade ago would have resulted in little more than a bus trip home. So now instead of sending people back to the country, Mexico, wherever else, they build these big prisons and stock them full of these illegal immigrants. Because it said, you know, a decade ago, they just wouldn't have sent them home. But this is only one part of it. We also have judge who accepted private prison bribes to send black kids to jail sentenced to 28 years. This is Judge Mark A. Ciavarella, who once sent an African-American child to jail for three months for posting a negative comment about her assistant principal on MySpace. And he has been sentenced to 28 years in prison. He was convicted of racketeering and has been stripped of his state pension. So this is for all the people who say, well, if you're not doing anything wrong, you don't have to worry about coming in contact with the police or going to court. We've shown you multiple times, there's no knock raids, police go to the wrong houses routinely, uh, innocent people get hurt. And now they're out on the streets trying to revenue generate. And I understand there are a lot of officers who don't want to participate in this, but this is just part of their, their job function, unfortunately. Let's move on. Private prisons. The more Americans they put behind bars, the more money that they make. That's a great article from Michael Snyder. But of course, we do know that some people in prisons or in jails, county jails, do deserve to be there. And sometimes they do exaggerate their arrest circumstances in hopes of being let off. And this is news out of Oregon. So the video released Tuesday afternoon by Lane County Sheriff's Office shows a man punching himself in the face in an effort to get out of jail, according to deputies. So, you know, when we talk about police brutality, we definitely know there are plenty of instances of police brutality, but this man has taken it upon himself to beat himself in the face in hopes of trying to uh, get off on his charges. And, you know, I've seen this stuff before. You know, I worked at Tulsa County Jail back when I lived in Oklahoma. And you'd have people come in and say, oh, the cop beat me up, or the cop did this, or he did that. Sometimes they did, but you also had people who just made up stuff in hopes of uh, getting out the ticket or the warrant or whatever they were there for. And we'll end tonight with this before we go on to more special reports. Lawmakers, Atlanta Fire Chief fired for believing in the Bible. Six Georgia House members have jumped to the defense of a former Atlanta Fire Chief, claiming he was fired for believing in the Bible and should be reinstated. And this is Mr. Cochran. So protesters went and talked to, this is Atlanta Mayor Reed, and they said, hey, you should reinstate this guy. And they believe he was fired because he wrote a book about a year ago, and he espoused his religious beliefs, which you have to do, have the right to do in the United States of America. But they came down on him, and they believe this is the reason that he has been fired. And we've seen uh, city councils and other parts of the country saying that, hey, if you work for the city, you can't get on Facebook or Twitter and say what you think about what's really going on in your state or your city. This is completely wrong. You do have a First Amendment and the right to talk about your free speech. Now stay tuned because after this break, I'll be exercising my free speech and telling you about vaccines and the dangers that lie there within. We'll have more special reports coming up right after this break on the InfoWars Nightly News. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. For a limited time, get 25% off on this introductory offer. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. Ancientdefense.com. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire, 
to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com Oil of Oregano Formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high-quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy-to-use capsules. You will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue. Wild crafted from the Mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire. This winter season, it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano. Now available in our limited first run at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. We've all probably taken some cough syrup and made us drowsy or maybe some other type of mild side effect. But would you take some type of medication that could kill you? Bad vaccine kills dozens of children inside of Syria. This is another report that they don't want to tell you about when you watch the news. They just tell you how great vaccines are all day. An improperly mixed or possibly sabotaged measles vaccine has killed as many as 50 children in insurgent-held areas of northern Syria. Volunteer medical organizations and physicians reported Wednesday. This is from September of last year. Forcing the suspension of a large-scale U.N. vaccination campaign intended to stop the spread of measles, rubella, and polio. The victims, some of them infants, apparently all died Tuesday. There were conflicting accounts of the precise number of deaths, with some doctors reporting at least 15 and others saying 35 or perhaps 50. But of course, when you go to the doctor and they want to vaccinate your child for measles, rubella, or polio, they will not cite this incident. And this is somewhat of a conflicting story because it came out last year, but they're saying in this article is possibly uh, sabotaged or improperly mixed. But the BBC reports on the same topic, Syrian children's deaths caused by vaccine mix-up. Medics carrying out a vaccination program in rebel-held northern Syria accidentally administered a muscle relaxant to up to 75 children, killing 15 of them, the opposition says. The packaging for the drug is said to be similar to that of the solution. So let's uh, take a look at both of these accounts. So you have on one hand, they're saying that it was improperly mixed. Maybe something happened at the factory or the processing, fact, uh, processing plant and uh, these things got a bad batch. And then this other report is saying maybe these kids were given a muscle relaxant because it looks so similar to the vaccine. And I'm not sure which one is worse to give somebody that something that was tainted at the facility or just say, hey, you know, these two vials look similar, so we gave it to the kids, and whoops, you know, one of them just happened to be very deadly. So I'm not sure which is worse, but they're both bad because in either case, the children died. And this is one of the cases that you don't hear about when you hear people on TV. They're 100% effective. There are no side effects. The only side effect is a sore shoulder. Well, let's examine that. Let's take a look at the CDC's own website and take a look at the whooping cough vaccine. And it says, what are these side effects? These are some of the more serious Side effects they include, but are not limited to, a fever over 100 degrees. So if you give your young child that 100 uh, degree plus fever, I'm sure you won't be happy about that. Non-stop crying for three hours or more, or seizures, jerking or twitching of the muscles. So these are the side effects of the whooping cough vaccine. Now, I'm not saying that you should not uh, take proper medical procedures if you do have whooping cough. You know, when I talk about vaccines, I'm not saying vaccines are inherently evil uh, I do understand medicine, medical advances, but I think it's very important to also know about the harmful side effects that can sometimes go along with these vaccines, whether they be death, whether they be seizures. And uh, I'm starting to hear more about this when they say seizures is a natural reaction to something. You know, you take a, a vaccine or something else and you get a, a seizure. Well, let, let's examine this. They say it's normal or it's expected, but just because it's normal or expected doesn't mean that it's healthy. For example, uh, you have the overconsumption of alcohol, which can lead to vomiting, uh, urinating on oneself, or passing out in a parking lot. These may be normal or expected behaviors associated with the overconsumption of alcohol, but they do not make them healthy. Just like a seizure is not a healthy reaction to something. If you could get a seizure from taking cough syrup, would you take it? Or if it was a very expected end, would you go along that route? And this is just one of the many reports we filed in, I guess, the past month or so, detailing the... Uh, Horrors 
or potential horrors of taking vaccinations. Now, once again, educate before you vaccinate. I have no issue with people, you know, uh, doing their due diligence. And if you decide that the whooping cough vaccine or some other vaccine is appropriate for your child, that's fine. But I think you as the parent definitely have the right to know what's in these vaccines. Meanwhile, on TV, they don't want to tell you anything about it. So that's it for this segment. Stay tuned because coming up after this break, Leanne McAdoo had a special report about ISIS, the targeting of ISIS of women and children. Also, Dr. Edward Group and Anthony Gucciardi will tell you about common poisons found right inside your own household. Stay tuned. This is the InfoWars Nightly News. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of silver bullet colloidal silver exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now, InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting-edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high-quality silver bullet from InfoWarsLife.com and to help others during Christmas by teaching them about the powerful benefits of silver. Secure your silver bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. ISIS is making headlines today, but it might not be for their so-called religious authority. Apparently, it's not just their interpretation of Islam that's perverted. According to a shocking report from activists in the terror group's main Syrian stronghold, ISIS militants are trying to score Viagra to fuel their lust for brutal and abnormal sex. The supposedly ultra-conservative Muslim fundamentalists have been forcing women in the city of Raqqa to marry them and then engage in savage acts that lead to hospitalization. The report also describes the jihadist lust for strange underwear to fuel their sexual anomalies. Two British human rights groups on Wednesday said ISIS kidnapped at least 3,000 women and girls last year from the areas it controls in Iraq. Some women were forced to marry ISIS militants, while others were sold into sexual slavery. But despite this outright kidnapping, brutalization, and degradation of women, ISIS is somehow able to still recruit females. This morning, CNN shared some of ISIS's unconventional recruiting methods, including luring girls with kittens and Nutella. It seems kind of silly until you consider that these sickos think that nine-year-old girls are old enough to marry. Online campaigns, apparently written by Western women married to jihadi warriors, aim to lure Western girls to jihad by promising them loyal husbands and concentrating on the joys of jihadist family life and the honor of raising new fighters for Islam. But the realities of living under the bogus Islamic State are far from righteous. Moderate Muslim women forced to live under ISIS in Iraq and Syria describe resentment and despair stemming from increasingly harsh restrictions on movement and dress, which are rigorously enforced by religious police. ISIS's so-called morality police reportedly attacked a woman in eastern Syria because her eyes were exposed. And in December, it was reported that they were using a bear trap-like torture device known as a biter to clamp down on women's breasts for such offenses as breastfeeding in public. But while ISIS desecrates the rights of women in cities that it conquers in the Middle East, the rights of the rest of the world are also being eroded under the guise of this terror threat. We're also seeing an increase in oppression and surveillance and perpetual fear being imposed on the masses. ISIS popped up out of nowhere in a matter of months. They're led by a man with ties to the CIA and they're recruiting Westerners with slick and sophisticated propaganda campaigns. ISIS has all of the marks of a CIA-sponsored jihadist group. Mayhem in the Middle East provokes panic around the world, and out of that chaos, eventually, a new world order.
Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and cannot be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. If you're watching this video, chances are you've already taken drastic steps to cut out toxins from your life and avoid household items that you know are causing cancer and wreaking havoc on your hormonal systems. But the reality is that even myself, looking at some of the products with Dr. Group today, we've found that chances are you're still having contaminants inside of your house that are actually killing you. And now I'm not saying that for effect. Studies show it is actually giving you cancer and hormonally destroying your body. So with Dr. Group today, we're gonna to talk about some of the key ways to avoid these contaminants and actually list them one by one and give you over seven different ways to rid your home of absolute killers. So Dr. Group, let's get started with what you think is the most important. Well, we're all under attack, Anthony, with endocrine disrupting chemicals. And endocrine disrupting chemicals are chemicals that disrupt your endocrine system. You have a lot of glands in your endocrine system, your thyroid gland, your pituitary gland. The intestines, as a matter of fact, is the largest uh, endocrine organ. You have the prostate gland. Anything that secretes or regulates hormones. And what we're finding out now is the majority of symptoms that people are complaining about, whether it's fatigue, ovarian cysts, prostate cancer, uh, diabetes, heart disease, all has a link to an endocrine disrupting chemical, mostly because these chemicals mimic estrogen. And what you have are, you have metalloestrogens, you have phthalates, you have BPA, you have chemical fertilizers, herbicides, pesticides. But a lot of times people don't realize that these chemicals are lurking in their home. Anything from fire retardants, carpets which are made that are outgassing volatile organic compounds. And we just chose a few here today that we'll go through. Just in the kitchen alone, you can be exposing yourself to very harmful levels of endocrine disrupting chemicals. And in the kitchen, you want to look for anything, number one, that can be in a can. Now, not only do you have BPA lined in these cans or BPS or some sort of plastic, you also have the aluminum. The aluminum is actually a metalloestrogen which can cause hormone disruption in the body. Anything that you cook in the microwave is also going to usually be wrapped in plastic. And when you microwave food, not only are you radiating the food, making it ineffective and non-nutritious, but what you're also doing is exposing the food to toxic plastics and endocrine disrupting chemicals there. I've gone through a lot of kitchens because what we would do is, is go to people's homes and actually see how many endocrine disrupting chemicals and how many toxic chemicals people are consuming on a daily basis. And it's amazing. This is just a small percentage of stuff. We move on to even mineral oil that you would think would be safe to put on your baby. Number one is in a plastic bottle, and number two contains fragrance. A lot of the things that contain fragrance are toxic, toxic chemicals called phthalates, which companies are allowed to put on the label without identifying the actual chemicals in there. And that goes from air fresheners that you put in your car, your home. Here's another... Well, this one's not... The, when I the, told you <clears throat> about the baby oil, you freaked out. You were like, oh my God, there's fragrance in there. And you were just blown away. How many people do you think put this on their infants? 
or just on themselves every single day and don't realize what they're doing? A lot because cosmetics are one of the biggest sources of endocrine disrupting chemicals which means it mimics estrogen in your body and for men it lowers your testosterone level and for women it increases your estrogen level. Women such as hair care products which we have a couple here extremely damaging full of chemicals the like you said the fragrance I would I mean it's sick to see think that you're gonna put this on your baby when it has fragrance, especially since a baby's skin is so susceptible to absorbing these chemicals into and, their system. And they're already born with high levels of BPA, they found too, because the pregnant mothers are drinking the plastic water bottles, as we're going to talk about doing all these things you're mentioning, and it's going through and actually infecting the baby's life cycle as well. That's right. Most babies are affected not only what you put on the baby because the mother was had high levels yeah. of endocrine disrupting chemicals and these are just some household items we're not talking about the foods and the pesticide residue on foods and the glyphosate and the atrazine and the harmful chemicals that are being sprayed as herbicides and pesticides everywhere as well but the majority of the shampoos that you're going to find in the home the majority of the conditioners even if they say all natural most likely they contain at least 10 to 15 endocrine disrupting chemicals I, how many people that do you know that take antacids Everyone. for their stomach? You know, we have an epidemic of stomach, intestinal problems, whether it's gas, bloating, constipation, diarrhea, heartburn. I mean, I know a lot of people out there that I try to get off of these uh, heartburn medications or these pills, which are in themselves causing more damage and also work as endocrine disrupting chemicals. How many people do you know that drink beer? Yeah. I mean hops in itself, which most beer is made out of, is heavily sprayed with pesticides. It's, uh, beer is made with a lot of tap water sometimes or the chemicals aren't fully out of which it. Which contains birth control. Which on contains average, birth which control. It's an aluminum can and it's lined with BPA. It's lined with the plastics as well. So beer, people that drink beer, you know, especially men, it's supposed to be a manly thing to drink beer, but what it does is it makes you more feminine because it disrupts your testosterone pathways, it lowers your testosterone and increases your estrogen levels. And BPA can also be used to seal pharmaceutical drugs as well. Yes, most pharmaceutical drugs contain fluoride, which is another endocrine disrupting chemical. You know, endocrine meaning it disrupts all your glandular functions, all the water bottles out there that are plastic, especially when they heat up. Milk is in plastic containers. Milk also contains harmful chemicals, growth hormones. It's been pasteurized, so most of the nutrients are dead in that. Uh, we see with laundry detergent and fabric softeners, heavily fragranced laundry detergent, fabric softeners, are extremely damaging, especially when you wash your children's clothes and you dry your children's clothes. These damaging phthalates or fragrances get into the clothes and when your child sweats, they can cause damage. Feminine hygiene products, the, during the bleaching process of those, they can contain uh, chemicals that can be damaging phthalates. And here's an interesting one. Why, why don't we talk about this, a bug spray? Because we were actually shopping for these ridiculous items and the person we were with was saying, I use this every day. What's wrong with it? And it's someone that eats organic food and lives a healthy lifestyle. They just didn't understand how this bug spray insect repellent could possibly be toxic. When to me it's obvious, well, but so many people just don't know. Just like I wouldn't know some things if, you know, if I hadn't been told. Right. I mean, because it's made to be safe. I mean, people under, they see the commercials and they see the adults spraying their children and spraying themselves with bug spray, but these contain dioxins. They're, you can take each one of the chemicals in this bug spray, type it in the internet, do a search for it, and you're going to find at least 90% of them are cancer causing, and not only that, they're hormone disrupting, they're endocrine disrupting chemicals. And remember, Monsanto had to pay 90 million dollars to the town of Nitro because there was dioxin pollution, and people were just growing new limbs and dying over and over. That's also what's in Agent Orange. Dioxin is considered one of the most deadly compounds in the world, in the universe. And this is what you're spraying yourself with every single time. And how many people do you know that use artificial sweeteners on yep. a daily basis? Diet drinks. When you mix aspartame with the BPA, with the aluminum, 
you just have deadly sources of contaminants that are bombarding the body. It would be maybe okay if you were doing one of these every day, but the problem is an accumulation of all these toxic endocrine disrupting chemicals bombarding the body every single day and, the, and people are not getting these toxins, they're not cleansing their body on a regular basis, they're not getting the toxins out. So slowly the body takes a beating, takes a beating, and then the symptoms develop, and all of it leads to disease. So, well, thank you for showing us all, all of this information. And it's so amazing, even like we were talking about going out and shopping with someone who is an organic eater, a health conscious individual, not being aware of some of these things. But the key thing is, and the key purpose of this video, and why you should share it, is that you can go ahead and start eliminating these items from your pantry, from your kitchen, from your bathroom, from your household, and it will actually make a world of difference. The estrogen mimickers are attacking you on a daily basis, and it's up to you to actually prevent that and to reverse it by giving yourself natural healing items and getting these out of your house. So these are over seven different items that you can get rid of right now to improve your health. Thank you, Dr. Group. Thank you for watching. This is an InfoWars report. I'm Anthony Gucciardi. That's it for our show tonight. Be sure to stop by PrisonPlanet.tv. We can get a subscription to see the nightly news, the special reports, the rants, and so much more right there on PrisonPlanet.tv. I'm Jakari Jackson from the InfoWars Command Center, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries in the area of health. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. DNA Force is one of the most expensive formulas to produce. Some of the ingredients in DNA Force are $12,000 a kilogram. We are using the coveted, patented, only American source of PQQ, CoQ10, and more. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? Well, we're bringing you a total win-win. The ultimate value, cutting-edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the info war. We have produced a limited run of DNA Force, and it will take up to 12 weeks to produce more once we sell out. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.